The thought of paying for college can be overwhelming. To break it down, we talked with college students to ask them how they figured it out. I looked for jobs on campus, applied for a bunch of scholarships. I worked here at the University Honors Program, so I helped honor students and stuff like that. Did help with my tuition, pay my food, pay my gas, and I think one of the biggest struggles for college students is how they're going to pay for their classes. But I think whether you go about it like scholarships, financial aid, or working, higher education is a great investment. Once I started going to a community college, I realized that there were a lot more benefits than I realized at first. One such benefit, which is I think like the most obvious one, is the fact that tuition is significantly more affordable compared to its average for your university. Taking advantage of that is definitely something that I'm very happy about. Community colleges also have a multitude of resources that are just sitting there that you can take advantage of. I applied, like a lot of my friends, for any money that I could get to help. I have done financial aid the last year uh, and doing student loans, but even with the student loans, I didn't qualify for enough to pay for my full tuition. So I also applied for scholarships. You don't think about it, but it really is free money. They just want to know who you are and, and if you're a hardworking student and if you need it, and they'll give you thousands of dollars. Paying for college can seem like a grueling obstacle to overcome, but it is possible. Here are some ways other students have paid for college. Number one thing to keep in mind is that there are two types of financial aid. The first is gift aid, which are awards that don't require any investment or repayment from you, the student. These are things like FAFSA, federal, state, and college grants, and outside scholarship opportunities. The second is what's called self-help aid, these, unlike gift aid, require an investment of time or money from you. These are things like student loans, which accrue interest, and work-study programs, which require you to put in working hours to earn the funds. We encourage you to use resources available to you that help in the search for funding. A couple of great resources are the College Scorecard from the U.S. Department of Ed and Big Future from the College Board. You can also find additional resources for researching colleges on the Texas OnCourse website. And finally, be on the lookout and avoid scams. From high pressure seminars or paying for services that are supposed to be free, like a FAFSA application, be weary of who you're giving your money and information to. Apply for any scholarship. There's scholarships for everything. Go online, look it up. Even if you get $100, like $100 in college can go a long way. And the more scholarships you get, doors open for you, you, you meet more people, and get as much money as you can. <laughs> Literally type in Google, scholarships. Look it up, it's there. 